Goats and Sheep presents Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club Sub is they need to share this podcast out with everyone on their social media accounts. Make and sure. I mean everyone, make sure. Mm. Second rule of Fight Club, they've got to share this podcast out with everybody on all their social media platforms. Third rule of Fight Club, let's get on with a proper podcast every week and that's the rule. I mean, strictly fighting. They thought it was just football, no. We love our boxing Come too. on, man. Combat sports. We love sports. a bit of UFC. So, yeah. And it's been, uh, I've been asked a lot by a lot of people, so, so by popular demand, here I am. Providing what the people want, supply and demand system, let's and let's go. Let's get into it. December 23rd. The day of reckoning, they've called it. I don't yeah. really like that name, but it is where it is. Riyadh season's well underway in Saudi Arabia, For and they're sport. changing the face of boxing more than mm. any other sport. So I know they've done the football. We've, we've mentioned that. Kind of expected it with football. There's a lot of money. Oh, but they this, went for the full knockout. Oh, they, 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 I like that so sick. They yeah. have, they've landed a big flipping George Foreman knockout I'm with this. Uh, December 23rd. With this card. First ever time, so I think you've proper hammered it home to me that we're seeing Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren. It's the first time ever. Forget you hammering it home. Yeah. It is much I mean, room and Queensbury coming I mean, together. If you're a boxing fan, you know how big the rivalry is between the two promoters. It's just as big as two fighters going at Yeah, 100%. Uh, and for them to come together, you clearly know some money has been thrown oh, in that yeah, direction. Yeah. Some G serious money. Gee, they're, they're calling Mr. Turkey Al Sheikh, yeah. your excellency. If everyone's calling him your excellency, you know the money's been thrown at everyone. Big time. But for the fans, it's the best thing, especially for boxing purists. I mean, me and Sub get a lot of shit for being boxing fans and people that like UFC more always saying switch over to the UFC fully now but now nah, this is uh, doing very well for boxing and there's, there's about time about boxing you know is the, the, the old sweet science of boxing yeah. is the original um, but what a card did he on it let's just let's start with the Deontay we Joseph Parker who do you think is going to win that one soup I personally believe Wilder will knock him out yeah I think yeah. he's going to knock him through the ropes bro I think Joseph is a good fighter he's European he's world level um, but was he overhyped just to make Joshua yeah, look good yeah, at the time yeah, he was yeah, in it? Yeah. Yeah. I think Did we buy into it a because bit too much? he was undefeated and Joshua was undefeated and obviously come from a country that are known for a bit of, you know, being tough. Yeah, I think also that Joshua Not showed him a bit too... I mean, that was the fight that changed Joshua's style of boxing. Yeah, I mean, he went a bit pragmatic from that uh, onwards. fight onwards. He didn't need to against and Parker, in my opinion. No, no, he could have gone for the, for the jugular straight for it. And that's him, and that's changed him. We're going to move on to but, Joshua um, anyway. I think a lot of people are crying out for Joshua to come back. The old Josh needs to come yeah, back soon, yeah. man. But Parker, yeah. he's, he's always a few of these two. Yeah, no, I don't like that. Um, what? Like, he's always a few of these arse in it. Yeah, oh, yeah, Chase, yeah. this type. Like, you're supposed to be your own man yeah, in every yeah, division. Yeah, yeah. Build your own legacy. Yeah, yeah, 100%, man. You can't be, you know, you can be friends with someone, but there's one thing being friends with another licking balls. Yeah, yeah, do you know what the, the only buggy, the only bugger or, or the balls is that you should be bloody hitting and licking, yeah, is the bloody ball bug that you hit like that. Exactly, that's what you I'm saying. I mean? But do you know what he's, he's doing too much with Fury, and that's where I lost a little bit of respect for Parker. Yeah. In my head, I thought this guy's never going to reach the next level now yeah. because he's sucking another guy completely too much, yes. you know, and it's too much. I think for while this will be the fight that obviously we're all uh, looking forward to to set it up for the next uh, yeah. round. He had a good fight. His previous fight, it wasn't just well, it wasn't really a good fight. It was an easy one for him. Uh, I forgot who it actually. Oh man, uh, Robert Helenius, That's Hellenius, who it was. Yeah. yeah, knocked him out. Spark was it the first or second round? Typical Wilder. Didn't even really. Quicker than um, Joshua did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. But. Yeah, it is. I do want to see Wilder back in action. Uh, he won me over with the sec with the third Tyson Fury fight when he went out on his shield and everything. Obviously, we all know what happened after, you know, was it fight um, fight two yeah. when he came out with the wild, wild, wild accusations, the videos that he was I making. I mean, he got and... ragdolled, but one thing we can't deny is uh, Deontay Wilder's power. And in the heavyweight division, uh, when you've got two big guys swinging it out, uh, there's always a good chance that, you know, it don't matter how skilled of a fighter you are. Look, even Tyson Fury, like, he's really good. Yeah, so elusive, so good at moving. But even him, he's been knocked down a few times by... By Deontay uh, himself. By Wilder. So, with a guy with such a good defence, in my opinion, uh, getting knocked down, I think all these other guys have got a good chance of getting knocked down. How, how far Parker do you think will. Parker will take it before he gets knocked down and Wilder catches him? Because... I think they'll go... Between... Seven and nine rounds. If Parker can stay elusive, do you think Wilder can still pick you up on points? Because he did show in that third fight against Fury. There's always this thing that Wilder is just a puncher. He I showed mean, that he's got a bit of skill. I mean, he has improved his skill set, his boxing skill set. But I do believe Parker still has the superior skill set yeah. when it comes to boxing. Because he's a good boxer. He is a good boxer. Yeah, yes. I do agree with you there. 100%. So I'm not, I'm not going to yes. put him down too much. On to Joshua Walling then. Go on. 
Otto Walling's living off that bloody Tyson Fury loss yeah. and cutting him. He's living yeah. off it, yeah? I mean, I've not seen him do anything else. Too. To be fair to him, it is his only loss. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's any notable names that he's faced. No, uh, other, than, uh, other than Fury. So obviously, like you said, it's what he's living off. Uh, this will be the fight where we'll see if this guy's got it or if he hasn't. And it will also be the fight that determines Joshua's future. Yeah. If Joshua loses this, it's, 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 yeah, he's over. It's, Top it's level is over. over. I don't think he'd even get the Wilder fight then in February. No, he won't. He won't, innit? Unless the money's massive and they're like, you know what, we, we still want it. But depends what Wilder's ambition is then, innit? Yeah, true. Does he want to take a step backwards and... He wouldn't want to, he no. wouldn't want to. But Otto but, Wallen, yeah, uh, this is a, a bit of a, a banana skin fight for uh, I mean, Anthony Joshua. I mean, it's not an easy fight. I mean... He did trouble Fury. I, I watched yeah, that yeah. fight. Yeah, uh, This Could is him. not... You know, let's not get hasty or get ahead of ourselves. You know, Joshua's not going to walk this through. This is the reason we're saying that about Joshua is, right, is because he's bought it onto himself recently with the way he's changed his style. Like we said, I personally believe the guy is a juggernaut. He should be walking through months. Yeah. He should have beat Usyk. I tell you straight. I not mean, as a boxer. Usyk is a way better boxer. I mean, we know this. With the boxing skill set that Joshua's got, I believe he should be knocking a lot of these months out. Because he's got the power. Yeah, he has. He's got the physicality. He's got the boxing skill set. I think the only thing you could... Well, two things that you could probably... You know, criticise him for one is he does have a bit of a um, suspect chin. Yeah, he does. Jaw. Yeah, and the other thing is um, he seemed to get fatigued. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say stamina yeah, is quite like suspect. Once he gets six rounds into a fight, seven rounds, he too much muscle mass he's carrying he's around carrying with him, and that. But he didn't even try against Usyk. So what baffled me was he he tried to become this like almost Tyson Fury style boxer, yeah. he almost Usyk style boxer, the chest type. It don't suit you, man. Why are you changing yeah, your style? I mean, before the biggest fight of your career in the undisputed For fight. For me, it was just one of them things. Styles make fights, as everyone says. And I just think Usyk is the superior boxer. When Usyk fought Chisora, for example, right? I really thought that Chisora stuck it on Chisora him. Chisora did, but Styles make fights. No, but can't Joshua do that so? I know you're saying Styles makes fight, but Joshua's got that in him to... Yeah, you no, know what? No, no. One's, no one's like Chisora. No, yeah, get you that. Watch Chisora, you know, the doggy. The bad thing about Chisora is, yeah, and you know it, I know it. Everyone that watches boxing... Knows it. Yeah. Half the time he knows he goes in there knowing that like there's a chance I'm probably gonna lose it. Yeah, yeah. But he's got such heart. Hundred percent. That look. For example, he had one fight was against uh, Dylan. Dylan White. I think he's called him over in the corner. I might have even been Fury. It was one of the recent fights in the last few years. He's called him over in the Fury. Uh, he's called him over in the corner and he's like. Oh, I think it was a Fury fight. Yeah, yeah. Just before he and actually he's just got. Yeah, taking yeah. hits, but he's like waiting, waiting, soaking it, and then he's. Throwing he is, massive, he's, you know. He's a proper he's fighter, massive, proper man. general you know, like he's, that. He's got heart, man, and he's been But then uh, time. Joshua could have done that, I think. He should have stuck it on Usyk more. I think he's scared of getting knocked out. Well, he needs to show against Wally now. I think go back, yeah. revert back to the old Joshua, right? Make a statement. Make a statement. To, there yeah, you are. Thank you very much. We've said so it now. Next, Move on to Bivol. Arthur. Right. I don't know how Lyndon Arthur's bloody landed this fight. Bugsy's is probably going to be there in attendance. I think... He's like, nothing special, Lyndon Arthur, in my opinion. No, We've seen enough of him now to say that. said, beginning of this pod. Money talks. Yeah. Uh, Arthur. Way over his head, you hear me? He's way over his head. You know, Bivol, what he did to Canelo. Oh, my days, G. And generally, you know, he's one of the best pound for pound boxers going 100%. in the world. So Yeah, he is. Um, for me, this is probably going down a knockout, man. And I don't want it to happen because I do like Arthur. Like I've got yeah, you only like him because of Bugsy Malone, that's why. No, right. I actually like Arthur, man. Oh, I'll give over. You only like him because Bugsy's your favourite rapper. No favourite. In the UK? No, he's, he's up there. My favourite is Jay Host, man. You should know that. Yeah, that's true. Right. But, but I don't know, man. You say Jay Host, but I think you like Bugsy more, me. No. Yeah, deep down, I think you're a Bugsy guy. Manchester United, bro. I that's like what his, it is. I like his swag. No, it's a United. It's a Manchester thing, yes, bro. United, I'm telling you. It's a road man swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've got that swag no, as well, yeah. It's cool, man. We might as well go by his. He's got his own brand now, B Malone. <laughs> go by his clothes. Some of them might be decent. <laughs> yeah, it looks alright. No, Dimitri Bivol though is a guy, bro. He's the guy. You need to see this guy in action. He's gonna knock Arthur out. I think know, he's over he's, within six he's rounds. He's everything that you want in a fighter. Yeah. He's strong. Mean, strong. He's powerful. Yeah. He's got the technique. He's got the jaw. The he's, heart. Uh, the heart. You know, he he's so good. The he's best so build up we're coming up to now, yeah, was big baby Jarrell Miller against bloody Bonga Daniel Du. <laughs> <laughs> Bunga Daniel Duba, bro. Oh, we love it, though. Eh? You know what? Duffy Daniel. Do you know what? I love it, man. He's like a Lenny, bro. Full on Lenny, bro, man. That press conference was hilarious. Bro. What, what, what did Warren say to him? Warren saying, Are you going to make him pay? Are you going to stick it on Are him, then, lad? Stick it on him. <laughs> Go tell him. Are tell him. Like, yeah. <laughs> Miller goes I'm going to chop that tree down. 
<laughs> Milo goes, it's a wrap. I've got this one fully done, dusty. Oh, but you Boris, know what? I'm dying to see Janelle Miller get a knockout. War of words, bro. Anyone can have war of words, but when it comes to getting in the ring, it's a whole different... You know, I'll be honest, yeah, so we, I've not seen any of Jarrell Baby Miller. We were supposed to see him before Joshua. I've seen bits on Bob's, did he? Because when he was going to fight, That's what he was I mean, scheduled yeah. to fight Joshua all them years ago. Then he got the bleep. I watched bits on Bob's of him. He's slow. He's predictable. He's got power. He's a big man. Obviously, yeah, that's what he is. But um, Dubois, obviously, Dubois is a fairly young man. Yeah, he is. And he's got a lot of learning to do, but I can see Dubois taking him, man. He needs to win this as well for, for his own career league. as well. I think it'll be a unanimous decision on points. You think? I don't think he'll knock him out, man. He's a big guy. He needs to... Dubois got power, though. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's got power, bro. So there you are, the day of the reckoning card is on December Saturday. 20th. Saturday. Wait, this Saturday could Can't be wait, lad. I just, I, I hope, yeah, so there's no flipping, stupid, controversial uh, refereeing decisions and it just goes smooth. That will be the final nail that Saudi have nailed it now. They didn't want for boxing yeah. moving forward. Yeah. Uh, we'll go on Fury. to, yeah, Fury Usyk, February 23rd. So is what's your announced. prediction, lad? Bro, I think Fury's going to go back to the old Tyson Fury, yeah. right? The I Gypsy mean, King's back. You know what? I'm backing you on that, but I'm going to play devil's advocate here, yeah? His last performance against Francis Ngannou. Yeah, this guy's never boxed in his life. Okay, he's a professional fighter. Hundred. He he's very good at stand up. He's always been good at stand up. 100%. I'll give Ngannou that, but he's never boxed in definitely, his life. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, he's coming to that fight, and arguably for me, he won that fight. Yeah, uh, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people that watched boxing that night, yeah. All 80, right. Eight, it was an eighty. I watched split, the fight, bro. so I'll and be I'm honest a with you. Fan. I am. I, I I personally I agree with you. The reason that I believe. That Fury did... Complacency? It was complacency. Man City? Full on Man City, bro. Look, he was guaranteed 40 million, right? And Ghana was guaranteed eight. So he's mm. guaranteed five times more. Mm. So you know already I'm the big dog here. I'm like, just coming here. I'm just coming here, get, get my paycheck get out. Paycheck, and you could see when you got knocked down, it was when he woke him. Oh, I mean, I need, to I be I honest it. with you, you can't be surprised anyway. I mean, on the flip side again now, coming back to the other side... <laughs> The guy's a massive fucking heavyweight, Bro, full of darn power. Yeah, the guy man. is massive. Have you seen his? You have seen, seen his physique. Have you have seen? Have you seen his physique? Bro, he's mental. He's right. He's mental. He's, he's an like animal, a... man. He's Bro, a in the UFC, I've seen him. Yeah, some of his knockouts so in the heavyweight division. He's Disgusting. Just he got him. knockout of the year. A couple yeah, yeah, of years yeah. He just touches that. him, bro. Bam, and he's got oh, him. Man. But yeah, I, I think so, he's, he's going to bounce so back leaning, from that. And that's going to be the one, so he's going to be lingering in the back of his so mind. leaning with Fury. 100%. Yeah. You know why? Because he's going to linger and he's, he's got point to prove what Fury likes no, that. Knockout? No. You're yeah, gonna... yeah. Actually, yeah. Do you knockout. know why I said no first? was because I, I'm thinking of normal Fury, but he's actually switched up since he gone to uh, uh, the Gronk way of uh, boxing with yeah. the Sugar Hill and that. Yeah. What a partnership them two are. Yeah, well. I mean... Um, Even outside of the ring, the uh, sick. Quick point on that, obviously, like when the second fight was announced with uh, Deontay Wilder going back then, we all laughed at it. Bro, he goes on going for the knockout. 100%. Like, this guy, man, he's doing Fury antics in it. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna Bye, he didn't knock him out. Like you described it perfect. He ragdolled, ragdolled him, ragdolled him, ragdolled him licked him. his blood and he everything. He actually bro. looked like that day. He looked like he was his dad. Yeah, he was. No, he looked like the angel of death had come for him. Toba stuck far. For bro, Deontay. The, bro, the, bro, the look on his face. And Deontay's, yeah, yeah. He was, like yeah. He was cowering in that corner. He's like, yo. Bro, it was like this when he, his hands were up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fury was twice his size that day, though. Remember? Did you see how big bro, Fury's he was hips looked? He was like this all the way. He was leaning on him. And then when he was with him, like, dash, dash. Bro, Fury oh. had that box that Perfect fight. game plan. Perfect game Perfect plan, you're right. Usyk, on the other hand, right? Obviously, very good, very Phenomenal elusive. Fighter, Phenomenal, Phenomenal fighter, Phenomenal right? Fighter, but that's why I'm saying. He's been coming up against play, uh, fighters in the heavyweight division that are not as good as him. Bro, I think Tyson Fury is as good as boxer as Usyk. I think, and you can debate me on this think, if they want. I think what it'll come down to in this fight, yeah. And he's bigger than him. I think boxing IQ, they're very similar. They're not far off each other. They're not. I think what it's going to come down to is Fury's experience in the heavyweight division. And superior and power. the power and the sheer size and the weight of him. He's going to bully him. He's not going to bully him the way he bullied Wilder, no chance. No you chance. know, Tyson Fury wins this, gets undisputed. So, where does he go in the all time rankings of heavyweights? I mean, top five. You'd have to put him top five, wouldn't you? You know, what he's done in his career uh, from going. Listen, he's better than Mike Tyson then. Depression. Well, Mike Tyson. I'm not going to say, oh, Mike Tyson, just leave it at that, man. <laughs> it would be his record. Who's your, who are your pound for pound? So, all right. Couldn't pound for pound best fighters in the world, any division, all whatever right, I'll you go. like. 
Do you want me to go yeah, first? Well, yeah, whatever you My like. list. Terence Bud Crawford first. Mm. Undisputed. I like welter, I lightweight, welterweight. Every division is being. I just beat Errol Spence Jr. Mm. Amazing. Number mm. one. De I'm, not, I'm not going in order here, right? Devin Haney is my number two. So, obviously, I love that guy. Top boxer since beating Lomachenko. Muslim yeah, Muslim brother as well. Uh, number three. I originally had Canelo on the list, but whilst talking in this podcast, remembering that Bivol actually beat him, I'm going to give it to Bivol. I'm basing it on right now, like if you know what I mean, the pound for pound right now, as of December the 18th, I'll be talking if you know what I mean, to get mm. me? right? So uh, the next one I've got is Inui in the, <laughs> I don't know how to say his name, so in the current, he's the current unified super bantamweight champion. Mm. He's a four weight champion, wow. 25 wins, 22 knockouts. You need to check this guy out. If you know boxing, he's in the lower divisions, but with this guy's got a, uh, there are a lot of punch, I mean, dynamite. Speaks for itself. So we got dynamite. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be talking about him to you loads of times about the guy's got dynamite. Um, number five, might be a bit surprising for everyone. I've gone for Shakar Stevenson. Ah, young lad Shakar. I'm a big fan of him. So mm, 21 wins, I'm a fan. 10 KOs, three weight champion from featherweight to lightweight. And he's only going to be moving up. I think he'll be in Haney and Cambosos and these lots territory next. Mm. So that's, and he's, he's, he talks a good game. Uh, brings a lot of entertainment to it. So there you are, there's my top five. The one that was looking to get in or the two were Canelo and Tank. Okay. Go. So, I think we agreed with, was it three? Yeah. So, obviously, you said with the Devin Haney, you know, top professional, uh, conquered two divisions now. Sick. I think, will he move up to the next step? Yeah, will he move up to... At this step, so be sweeped up. I mean, Loma. There's a chance. Welterweight. He could move up. There is a champion in the welterweight division we could face. He's currently holding the IBF title, and that's Jaron Ennis. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of them ones, isn't it? I I think know, yeah. Obviously, I know you, we don't know much about him, but his record in that division Speaks is very himself. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and generally... You've got to beat who's got the belt anyway. And yeah, you've got to beat someone. And obviously, Crawford is, I think, in my opinion, who is the next guy I'm going to obviously agree with you upon in the pound for pound. I think he's too big of a step up yet for Haney. I think Haney needs one or two more big fights before he goes in with Crawford, if he does go in with yeah. Crawford. Crawford is the man for me, like all time, maybe he's, you know, obviously we always give Ali the greatest, the goat in it, and he's the goat. But in terms of what we've seen, like a lot of people will say Mayweather. For me, the, the Mayweather is, it's not Mayweather, it's Terence Crawford, mate. What he's done, um, I mean, going back to, well, we never spoke about him, but Amir Khan. I've seen Amir Khan fight a lot of fights and I've never seen him get dominated the way Crawford dominated. I don't think anyone's seen... Uh, yeah, you're I right. I mean, Kell Brook gave him a bit of a beating, but... Khan should never have fought that one. What were you doing, Amir? There was money in it, but with... Um, I'm still not happy with him. With Crawford, man, like... Oh, man, he just... He dominated Khan and every fight is... He's, he's, every fight is fought, you know, in every division that he's fought in, he's just dominated He's it. a big man. And, big you know, man. when him and Errol Spence were head-to-head, -head, everyone thought, you know, it's going to be a... Uh, a hard fight, but in the end, he made it. He made it simple, bro. You know, I, I'm He's not just goal. saying it now. In hindsight, I think you'll remember from day dot. I always said, "Bud, Bud, Bud." Terence yeah. Bud's the guy. That yeah. I love him. Man. And love him. Uh, his record f speaks for itself. You know, he's catching that Mayweather. He's gonna catch Mayweather. Oh, do you think he's going for that as well, though? Of course he is. Mm. He's on 40 you know, right now. Yeah, 31 yeah, yeah. knockouts. You know, he's he's what Mayweather dreams to be, man. 31 knockouts. Mayweather was just a defense, bloody little. We'll get into that in the uh, that, yeah, my future podcast. Third, my third man is uh, Canelo. And obviously Canelo speaks for himself. Uh, you know, every fight that he's fought, other than Dimitri Bivol, uh, the first Golovkin fight. I think that was a step too much for Canelo anyway, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, the first Golovkin fight and obviously Mayweather when he was a kid. Uh, other than them three fights. What do you think Golovkin drew? I thought Golovkin won was a Golovkin win. Yeah, Golo Golovkin won was a Golovkin win. Golovkin two, in my opinion, was... A draw? was no, I actually edged towards um, Golovkin. Golovkin! Yeah. I edged, if anything, towards Canelo, yeah, but okay. more towards the draw. Okay, that's an interesting point. That. Uh, my fourth guy is Tank. I think this guy's got it all, man. He's powerful. I love him. He's strong. Um, he, he's well, got my Japanese set. guy he's, he's, he's cocky, he's arrogant, and he brings it onto the... Mini Mike ring. Tyson. He's mad, man. He's, you know, and my last guy is the Gypsy King himself. Tyson Fury. I don't put heavyweights in because I think they only stay at heavyweight and they don't move weights. But so put them in. I just, I, you know, what it is. And lots of people for do the put them in when you when you go and Google for and things like that. For the career that he's had, um, he suffered depression. He come back. He dealt with the, 
the most dangerous man in, in boxing. And, you know, he made him look like a girl. Bro, I tell you what's Fury's greatest victory still is and still will be probably till the end of his career is the Klitschko. To go in Dusseldorf, mm. bro, mm. and in the backyard and what he did to Klitschko was mm. amazing, bro. And just Tyson Fury, what a boxer, what a story. Um, and there you are, mate. We're going to end it off with the UFC 296. Don't worry, I've got you all covered. Mike's martial arts. Did you watch any of the UFC 296? I only card? watched the main event. Leon Edwards. Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington. What do you make of it? And I was very impressed with Leon. He didn't let the disgusting derogatory comments from Colby, the racist guy, uh, get into You know, head. Colby Covington, yeah. I cannot stand that guy. He should yeah. go WWE, bro. I cannot stand that guy. He's just so fake and he just thinks he's so big and bad. And don't get me wrong, he's a bit of a tough guy, yeah, but... Go WWE. Do you know, yeah, go WWE, man. Um, you play the, the character Edwards, role, The way Edwards dealt with him, barring the last two, three minutes where he had him held in, um, you know, like... Um, you know, like a mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Other than that, uh, Edwards dominated the fight, man. He was just dealing with him, you know, left, uh, left, right, knees. It's uh, all about legacy now for Leon Edwards. You should have seen the inside of his leg, man. The, uh, sorry, the outside of his leg, man. The bruising that he left on there, Toba, from round one or two. It was disgusting. It was like a massive purple. It, it was just mud. And you could tell, like, from that moment onwards, even though, obviously, it's adrenaline. You yeah, 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 yeah. It don't matter. You could tell he was just not the same with that leg, and obviously stability. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Can't be the same, but um, Leon Edwards, man. Um, we've That's seen two some over Kamaru now. We've seen some good champions uh, in this division over the years, but this guy looks like the real deal. He's looking the real deal. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad he's from UK. He's, he, he, and you know what? I watched his um, one to one with Rio Ferdinand. Yeah, he's a very humble guy. So nice story. I like. Yeah, I like I like the kid. I like the guy. I don't know if he's a kid, but I like the guy. I think he's already some thirty. He probably is. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm uh, twenty-nine. Right twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. I've had a dream as well. I'm twenty-three. Twenty-two right now. Tony Ferguson with Paddy Pimblet. Tony Ferguson, bro, that's seven losses in a row now. I think he should just he's retire. Finished. He's, he's yeah, finished. Yeah, he's yeah. finished before this uh, fight. As great as a fighter as he was once upon a time, you know, he's taken too many beatings now. His ears are coming out big time. They look like popcorn. You know, when you're making popcorn. It looks like popcorn. I don't know just, how you got into his ears, man. man. You sad guy. He's What's been battered that much. His head's been bashed up, man. He looks like a popcorn. <laughs> He's got some funny ears, man. He talks a good game. Can't back him up no more, man. Poor guy. Paddy Pimblet. What do you yeah, think of Paddy yeah, the Buddy yeah. Soup? Is he the Buddy? <laughs> nah, Paddy's a hype job, man. Is he? Yeah, Paddy's Full a hype Scott, job. Scott's don't get job. me wrong. He's a fighter. Uh, you know, he puts his neck on the line. He gets in there. Respect to him. Uh, but he's a Conor McGregor wannabe. I've heard him call McGregor out. McGregor's retired, man. Like, he's chilling. Why you call him? Like, even though I don't rate McGregor's I highly as I used to. Uh, why you call him McGregor out, man? Just let him chill in. He's fucked off his nut on coke and fucking proper 12 or whatever the fuck he's drinking, the dirty bastard. Forget him, man. Anyway, that guy. Yeah. He got dealt with. But yeah, um, good win by Paddy. Unanimous decision. Still waiting for Conor McGregor to bloody come back. They're talking about him. He just talks a good game now. That's all he does. He's over. And he's made his money, man. Well, Mayweather. More than money. He, his last fight was Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Khabib. No, no disrespect Khabib like sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. Khabib dealt with him, bro. Didn't deal but with him. But that one a fight. Exactly. A fight, Diddy, is when two people are engaging. True. That was not a fight. By G. That was a beating. That was harassment. Iconic. Is is iconic bro, now when they could put he goes talk. Shit. They could put that shit online for rape. I'm yeah, they could. <laughs> I'm telling you, bondage shit. <laughs> you know what? The best part, one of the greatest moments I've seen in any fight. I'm not even exaggerating. It was Khabib saying, "Talk now in talk any now. fight." Talk, talk. Because talk now, he goes just business. Just business. Just business. <laughs> not business. Bam, bam, bam. That's a, that was an Ali moment. That I you smash know. your boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's too good. Stephen yeah, Wonderboy so Thompson. Got a last second round sub, uh, submission. Came yeah, back. He's a I he's mean, a popular fighter. He's the one that has his career slowly petering out. You know. Just anyway, I'll I'll, I'll state his welcome in the UFC now. Yeah, eh? he's a good fighter. Um, very technical. Not bad with submissions. But um, I think now recently he's been losing a bit more. So. Well, the UFC two nine seven card. We've already got the bloody uh, preview of it. And what a guy. I love this guy. Sean Strickland, mate. So I'm going to show you this clip if you haven't already seen it. If anyone else hasn't seen it. It was the fight of the night with Sean Strickland against Duplessis. Not in the cage. It was outside of the cage. They put the camera in Strickland. My man stretching. He does the gunshot behind to Duplessis. Duplessis is getting funny. Strickland goes by G. He goes to Gilbert Benson. He goes, just move out of the way. Just move. Huh? 
Lichla is moved. It is no talking. Jumped on him. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. That's a real fighter's nature, man. Strickland's mental. You know what? So there you are. That chat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I love Sean Strickland, though, man. He's a good champion. He deserves it. So there you are. Goats and Sheep Fight Club. The first episode out now. Share, comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Thank you very much. Boom, boom. Knockout. Oh, this is on edge.